What's good, everybody? Hey, welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Now, check this out. This is my go-to, last-minute, you know, appetizer trio. Hey, listen, anybody, anytime somebody call me and say, A.B., what am I doing? You know what? Just last minute, my light bulb goes off of my head, and then here we go. Hey, listen, I'm going to show you two of them. Two of them are going to be done in the crock pot. It's going to be a queso dip and a meatball. Hey, listen, both of these is perfect. I, I promise you that. And then the third thing is just going to be some spicy brown bacon wrap little smokies. Hey, super easy. Put out a lot of flavor. All you got to do is get a drink of choice together. Put these out when halftime or put them out before the game or whatever you're doing. Hey, even if you're having some love company, this right here is my go-to trio. Hey, with that being said, I'm not going to over talk it and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make my go-to appetizer dish. All right, we're going to start off with the ingredients. First, I'm going to start off with these spicy brown sugar bacon wrapped little smokies. Now listen, this is all it is to it. You're going to need a Ziploc bag, you know, a gallon. You need something that's kind of like big. You got to have two picks. Right here, I'm using this Jimmy Dean, you know, premium bacon, you know, it's hickory smoke. We got some cayenne pepper. This is only like a, a quarter. Hey, look, this is a quarter teaspoon, but I made it heaping, meaning it's not exact. It's just a little bit more. And then you gotta have the little smokies. Hey, I opened them up. You know what, because I like eating these anyway. And we are gonna add some pepper to it also. And last but not least, you gotta get yourself like a baking pan. I like using this uh, cooling rack, you know, on the top of here. So we're just gonna put this here. Now we're getting ready to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Now we're getting ready to get everything set up. First thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take these little smokies, get them emptied out, and then we wanna get them so that they become dry. Here, I just got a paper towel, you know, and a paper plate. Just put them on top. Take yourself this, and we just wanna get them dry as possible. There we go, just like that. I'm gonna set these off to the side. Now we're getting ready to open this bacon and get these cut. Now, once I got them cut, once I got them open, let me just show you right now. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take a slice, right? And we're just gonna divide it into three. Main thing is, you wanna make sure that each one of your slices that you cut will wrap around, you know, your, uh, your little smokies. And this is what we're gonna wrap the little smokies with. So as you can see, it makes a lot. You might have about three, four, maybe five slices you know, leftover that you don't have Smokies for. All right, here's the next step. Got the Smokies out right here. Listen, we just gonna make sure they dry, right? Let me go ahead and take some of these toothpicks out now. Make sure they dry. Look, just gonna take one of these and just roll it. Real simple. Once you got it rolled up, take a toothpick. There you have it. I'm just gonna set it right here for now. And then we just gonna continue this. Again, smoky, the bacon that you cut. And then we're gonna roll it. It's really real simple. You just wanna roll it. You know, once it's wrapped, you want a little bit of overlappage so you can stick the toothpick through it. And then we just repeat the process until everything is going. Now, I guess if you were doing a big giant party or something, maybe you would like double this. But this, along with, you know, some of the rest of the uh, appetizers that you're serving, I think those will turn out. I think this will be just fine. You know, because everybody not going to just, you know, pig out on these little, <laughs> these little smokies. But I don't know. Now here, took the Ziploc bag. You know, I combined the brown sugar, the cayenne pepper, you know, and a little bit of this fresh ground pepper, black pepper. Real easy. Now, I'm going to take it, scoot it over so you guys can see. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna open the bag, real simple. We're just gonna drop maybe five of these in here. Let's make it six. Close it, leave a little air in the bag, you know? And then listen, all we're gonna do is coat them. You know, take it easy with them. You don't want the uh, toothpick to come out and you don't want it to put a hole in your bag. All right. Now we'll just take them out. You guys can see that. They got that, ooh, man, they got that flavor on there. So we'll just place them here. And what we'll do now is just repeat the process. You wanna shake off any excess, you know, brown sugar or whatever. Now, 
a rule of thumb is anytime you put anything on like one of these cooling racks or a baker sheet or anything like that and it's going in the oven you got to have space that's so you can allow that the heat can move around and make sure it gets evenly distributed throughout whatever you're cooking how they gonna look now what we're getting ready to do is we getting ready to put them in the oven we're gonna put them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes we want to take a look at them at about 25 minutes you know just see where they are look when they look perfect take them out and then I got something else for you. Just stay tuned. Now, we put them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes. Now for the grape jelly and barbecue meatballs. Real simple. Remember, we starting with those frozen meatballs and we got barbecue sauce. That's my barbecue sauce. You guys use whatever barbecue sauce you would like. Whatever is your favorite, just gonna ensure that when you mix it with this jelly, it's gonna give you that familiar taste and it's gonna be just like over the top. Now, go ahead and get yourself some grape jelly doesn't make a difference you see i'm using store-bought brand listen the reason being you don't want to get nothing too fancy because listen you're going to mix it with barbecue sauce now just get yourself a whisk you know what i mean we're just going to combine it you know about the best we can you know how jelly is all i can tell you is listen some of you guys might be looking at this thinking like man what's up with with the sugary barbecue you know flavors together hey but i promise you once this uh melts down and renders real nicely and it's you know become one you guys will understand it now i'm gonna set this to the side i'm gonna go ahead take this out we'll take this out hey but check it out while i got it right here look it comes like this so that you can just put this on the top and look and your spoon stays at the inside hey how cool is that and then I'll show you what you can do with it once you get, once you get done with the lid. All right, so look, these are kind of small. These are not the standard size, you know, crock pot. So let's see how many we can get in here. And I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, boom, we got them all in there. Now, let me get my spatula. Gotta be careful, man, handling this glass, you know, with one hand. And then what we wanna do is just pour this over the top like this. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, have you ever had grape jelly and barbecue sauce? Now look, I just went ahead and got myself a spoon. You can see these right here not coated. I just want to make sure everything is coated. Each one of these meatballs has some of this sauce on it. Now you can see those are done. Now I'm going to go ahead and just set them right here. Now earlier I was talking about when you have it like this for your guests, right? They need something, they want to get something out of here. Look, take it, put this right here. It's got its own holder. And you know how like when the condensation builds up in the inside right here, listen, it's designed so that it didn't fall back down. Hey, super easy, love the design. So we'll just put it like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it on low or high. I'll let you know in just one second. I'm gonna give you all of the instructions. The full recipe will be down in the description box below, you guys. Now we're getting ready to move over to the move on to the queso dip. But before we do, the little smokies are done. Check these out right here. Look, it's up to you. You're looking for the desired look that you would like. You can stay in the oven a little bit longer, but this is what I was looking for, knowing that I'm gonna have them on warm. All right, now here's the hard part. You're gonna have to resist not eating these until your guests get here. Now, once these are done, we're gonna open up one of these. And listen, we're just gonna put these inside. And we're gonna remove the spoon. Now there's no certain order or way that you put these inside of your slow cooker. Just go ahead and just put them in there. You don't have to worry about, you know, the toothpick or nothing like that. You know, once you got them all, all in there, then go ahead and just close it. You know, once you put the lid down on it, then you wanna just turn your dial and set it to warm. Okay, and now we're getting ready to get down with this crock pot queso dip. Super easy. Look, you got, you're gonna need one pound of uh, ground beef. This right here, this is uh, 96.4. Try to get it as lean as possible. Got one cup of uh, salsa. This is mild hot sauce. This is a teaspoon of that. You got two jalapeno peppers. It's up to you what you're gonna do with this. It depends on how hot you like it. I got two, that's what it usually calls for, but I think we're gonna ease this one over here and we only gonna use one. All right, then you wanna go, go ahead and get yourself a, uh, a can. I'm using the store-bought brand uh, chili with no beans. You can put beans in it, either beans or no beans, whichever one. Uh, I just tell you, you know what, get it as cheap as possible, because listen, you're going to turn all of this into something amazing. So if you spend a lot of money for your chili, it's just going to get drowned out. Then we got a half of a green bell pepper. You got a medium size, 
Look, I'm back in Cali, y'all, so everything go by small, medium, and large, not just that one giant size. So look, this is just a medium size uh, yellow onion. Then we got that liquid gold, you guys. Just that, you know what, I know it sounds crazy, me saying this, but just that processed cheese. And I went ahead, this is 24 ounces, I just went ahead and cubed it up. That's all, it was like a big loaf. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, get this going, get this uh, done, get it drained, whatever fat it renders, and then we just gonna put it all in the crock pot, we gonna start a cook time. And before I forget, look, gotta have eight ounces of that cream cheese. Had this in the refrigerator, gotta make sure you guys see that. Cream cheese, processed, veggies, salsa, chili, ground beef, let's get it in. All right, look, you guys can see, man, using this lean meat, it didn't even really render nothing. Everything kind of like just cooked off or absorbed right back into it. But anyway, this is done. Now we getting ready to move over to our final step. All right, here we go. Now, if you notice, I didn't have no oil run down. Listen, didn't drain it. I promise you, if you get that lean meat, that 96.4, it won't be nothing. I almost started to add some oil to it so that it would cook better. But anyway, don't worry about none of that. Cause listen, you finna surround it with a bunch of cheese. You know, your veggies are gonna sweat. You're gonna have plenty enough moisture inside to just make this dip right here, just like A1. All right, so again, listen, this is nothing but a dump and go once you did your prep work. After that salsa, now we are gonna go ahead and add, I just probably added about half of it, a little bit more than half of the uh, processed cheese. Reason being, listen, we gotta stir it up. And look, you can see it's full. So then when we come with that chili, you know what, it's just starting to rise up to the top. So go ahead and get yourself a wooden spoon and just go ahead and mix it up a little bit. Once you got it mixed, then we can go ahead and add the rest of our processed cheese. Hey, and for those of you guys that don't know, that's that liquid gold, folks. Now, once that's in there, listen, we're gonna put it in, the, uh, in its bay and then we're gonna cook it on low for three hours. And that right there is gonna make a nice queso dip. Now, in here we got the little smokies, the spicy smokies. We put that on warm because we made those, you know, when those are ready, we just want to transfer them and put them in here. Now here, we got the uh, the meatballs. The meatballs, we're going to cook those on high and we're going to set a timer for three hours. And then this queso dip, we're going to cook this on low for three hours. Hey, real simple. You guys see it. I hope you guys like this setup. And don't forget, look down in the description box below and it'll be down probably in my number one comment, which will be pinned, you know, if you guys are interested in getting something like this. Hey, this right here says party all over. Now let's cook. Now, after three hours, right? Go ahead and get your spoon. Now it's time to just go ahead and give it that final stir. You know, and then you can set it up. You put them all, set them all to warm. As you can see, all three are on warm. And then you can get ready to put them out wherever you want to for your company. And then right here, listen, you know with that queso dip, of course we wanna turn that over and you know, mix it to make sure, to ensure that all of the uh, the cheeses and milk, that cream cheese and that, uh, that liquid gold. Now, after that, hey, you know what? How could I even overlook these right here? Look at these right here, these little spicy uh, smokies. Hey, that brown sugar and that cayenne and that pepper, that's the blend, folks. Now, get yourself some chips and then go ahead and just, you know, check it out and test it. You know you're gonna like it. And then all you need is to put out some toothpicks and then set it up. So tell me what you guys think about this one here. Super easy. Now you guys know what my go-to trio is. That's queso dip. You know, I got these meatballs and then I got these little smokies. Hey, listen, this right here, you put this out. I promise you, nobody gonna say nothing. You can put this out for the whole entire season or whatever you're doing. Listen, it never gets old. Hey, so with that being said, I want you guys to check it out. Let me know what your go-to appetizer is for game day, uh, tailgate day, whatever you're doing. If you just entertain some company, hey, I tell you what, just in case you just wanna, you know, get cozy with your folks, this right here is cool to put this out too. This, a little wine, you know what I mean? Some roses in the background. Hey, I'm giving up too much game. Hey, anyway, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me go ahead and just say, hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's taking the mystery out of cooking and simplifying these recipes. That being said, I'm out of here, you guys. Peace.